the Beat the Heat ride on the 15th of August. We're breaking out of lockdown, and we were on the road before dawn, headed up to Dave's to get him loaded. Saturday the 15th of August, and we're uh, loading up early, because it's uh, we're in a heat wave, so we're trying to beat the heat. Already could be sweating right now. Kind of heading for French Meadows. Offload at Secret House. Dave says he's riding a 650 today. So we got the bikes loaded up and started going there and stopped and got some gas and got onto the Forest Hill Road and headed up the Forest Hill Divide and uh, the goal was to get us up as far as the Talbot campgrounds in the Granite Chief Wilderness area there and see what else we could find up there. So the sun's coming up and we're heading for a ride. This is going to be a great one. Everything's designed to beat the heat because it's going to be 106 down the valley. All right, we made it here to Secret House Campground. We're going to get on up to the high country. An old defunct campground. Welcome to your national forest. Help protect it. A lot of bugs. Year-round spring here. You want to be over here, Dave? See the picnic bench? So offloading the bikes at Secret House, it didn't take us long to get our dirt bike gear on and head out on the road. It was up the Forest Hill Road further, all the way to Robinson Flat, where we hung a left on the Soda Springs Road and stopped in uh, right about Sunflower Hill. Elevation 7,045. Greg, we're on the Soda Springs Road. 32 pounds in my tires. I want to take that down a bit. And I thought we'd stop here on this precipice where you can see the North Fork of the American River Canyon. And uh, over there, I'd have to imagine somewhere is the Granite Chief Trail. Okay, well. We've reached this road that goes alongside the American River. And uh, we've just come down from the Soda Springs Road. Checked out the map at Talbot Campgrounds and checked out the hikers who were heading into the Granite Chief Wilderness. Then we rode back uh, along the river and stopped underneath the bridge there at the American River. On that leg of the journey, some guy in a Ford was hogging the road and ran me off into the gully. Okay, so we've been riding around up on top of that mountain over there, sitting on the ridge. Went down the hell hole. And, uh... Yeah, it's gotten kind of hot and stuff, so... We're not gonna do any real rough stuff. That's French Meadows Reservoir there, but we had already done a big loop. Uh, we had gone along the side of French Meadows and cut up the hill on uh, Chipmunk Ridge and took Road 48 and went on down to Hell Hole and took the Hell Hole Trail a little ways. 
and we went to the boat ramp and dam at Hell Hole. And on the way out of there, some bug went up my sleeve and bit me, and I swelled up. So that's after that. That's when we came back here and stopped at the dam at uh, French Meadows Reservoir, and just were kind of regrouping there. And that's when I decided, uh, hey, let's just take it easy and uh, make a long trip back to camp. Uh, on one of our favorite roads, Road 13. I wasn't sure if that was my goggles or dust. <laughs> Well, I'm not really getting any amazing motocross action out of you guys. Is that Four Hill Road right there? No. What road is that? Uh, American Hill. Yeah, doesn't look familiar. Back at camp, it was time to open up some beers and have some snacks. Over okay, you guys, we made it back to the truck. It was like 85.4 miles, Dave. But uh, we covered some ground. Within the uh, you know, I didn't get over the Greystone Ridge like I wanted to, and up to the headwaters of the Hell Hole on the Rubicon River. But uh, that right, would have been so pretty tough. Tom B, you should have come, man. This would have been a perfect deal to come. I mean, everything went smoothly. <laughs> you, you would have made it just fine. No, we actually aren't too hot. Look at this. We're in a shady spot. Here we are at Secret House. It's probably 2.30, 3 o'clock. We got in how many miles, John? 85.4 miles. Amazing. Nobody fell. Nobody got hurt. Everyone's fine. I dabbed a few going out of that bridge. Oh, I bet. <laughs> we did a little bit of everything. Road racing and uh, uh, actual Jeep trail. Yeah. Some fire fire road jumps, what do they call those? Water bars. Water bars. Yeah, we got some water bars in. They were they're smooth ones. They're great for getting air. Mm -hmm. Now going going uphill, those are greater. I'm sorry you bailed out because man, it was beautiful. Yeah. You would have had a great time. Tom would have had a good time. Yep. A day like this wouldn't have stopped the Europeans. Yeah. The after ride feast. You're looking at it. Good stuff. We're gonna take our garbage back home. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. So, Tom, you didn't uh, go for the ride, huh? Oh no. Oh. I think I'm gonna pass on this one. However, I think he would have had to use fourth gear, and his fourth gear ain't too too good. So that's about it for the uh, Beat the Heat ride. Uh, sorry there's no GoPro fo footage, but uh, somebody's going to have to donate that to me. Uh, I'm having a hard enough time just keeping bikes going. But uh, we had a good time. Uh, Dave really enjoyed it. Greg and I both really enjoyed this ride. And it's one to remember. The Seventh Day Adventurous on the sixth day of the week. Bursting out of lockdown. <laughs>